Anyway, we're going to start off with a pattern, just a closed basic. And normally when you do your basics, if you were just trying to keep it more bluesy-like, it's got more of a swingy feel from the hips and not very much leggy. So as you'll, you'll see a very soft movement from the hips and the feet are very softly placed on the floor. What we're going to do is relax the knees a little bit and try to move less. So it has more of a relaxed and looser look to it. And then we add a little bit of a pulsing action through the body while we're dancing. So we'll dance one and two, three and four as we're doing the legs. Now this is a lot to think about. So the first thing you might want to do is just go for the leg action because that'll really make it look nice by itself. But it'd be a one and two and a three and four. And notice that in, in the action, I'm actually using angles on my body instead of keeping everything dead straight. Let me turn this a little bit, and I'll do it this way. One, two, three, four. Now, from here, I haven't weight changed completely yet. I'm going to roll through that foot and then back out. One, two, and lead an inside roll. So my hand, we're going to go back to lead with that light touch lead again, guys. You're going to put your hand on the outside edge of your hand and just move your body, and that'll turn her right through the pattern. You don't have to push with your hand. Just roll your body to the right a little bit, and you can see how that's pulling my hand inwards to me. So if I take that from this angle, we'd go one and two, three and four, one, she rolls, I roll, and triple step. That's a different release rather than doing your tuck all the time. Give you a little different flavor. Okay, one more time on that. One and a two, three and a four, move one, two, let her roll on by, five and six. That puts you in the open facing position to the partner. Now from here you can lead any variations you want, underarm pass the sugar push is anything because you're in a normal basic hold. What we'll lead from here is a sugar push action. This is kind of a nice extended sugar push. We're going to bring the lady forward, settling back into a little hitch ball change. One and two. Then we're going to angle to the left, three with another tap, and across, and four. We'll hold beat five, then move, and six. Hold beat seven, and move, and eight. So you're going to hesitate, move, hesitate, move, hesitate, move. Take a look at that in speed. One and two, three and four, hold five and six, hold seven and eight. Okay, so that's a nice move, but it doesn't look very funky. Or it could look like the other funky. But what we're going to do is give it the right kind of funky by adding the body pulse to it now. So we're going to dance our one and two, three and four, pulse five and six, pulse seven and eight. So by adding the contraction in and out, that gives us a rhythm now that wasn't there before. A five and six, a seven and eight. Good pulsing. From here, I'm going to lead a two-hand tuck. So I'm going to catch the other hand as she moves towards me. One, two. Now I'm getting into a split position for a little bit more power for the normal tuck would be not so powerful. So at this point, I'm going to give the little drive out and lean to my right leg. As she steps away, I'll step into the track on the fourth beat. And again, I'm not spinning her. I'm just holding the hand above and let her take care of her own spin. Now we can do it simple ending, which is five and six, or we can dress this up a little bit and add a little fan to it. So this would be both partners again. We'd have the one, the two, the three, the four, the five, the six, hold seven, eight. And again, I'm responding to what Marianne's doing. She's really wound the pattern up and using a lot of body language. So I'm taking my right leg, bringing it all the way around, I'm crossing my leg and then standing tall. All the time I'm presenting my partner. So I, I'm not off here by myself doing something. I'm actually presenting what she's doing. So I'm accentuating it a little bit, so to speak. Do you want me to break down the ladies? Sure, thing? that'd be great. Why don't we bring that over here? All right, for the ladies, it's walk, walk, one, two. Then you're going to step back with your right foot on the uh, and a uh, three. And notice how I'm leaning into or lunging into my left foot and then forward on my right foot on four. Now what I'm going to do is turn on my right foot five, step on my left foot six, bend my knees, straighten them on seven as I bring my arm in and I'm pushing my pelvis down and then hold eight. Take a look at that from another angle because you'll get an idea of how much shaping she's using. We'll come right at this line. Okay. One, two, and three. Step in on the four. Here comes a sweep. Five, six, seven, and eight. Well, look at the body language there that she's giving. There's a lot of flavor to that pattern. Sets me up very nicely. We've got a good connection. The slightest move I make is going to cause a reaction. So I've got to be careful not to put too much power into my lead because I can already feel a good connection. If I didn't have that strong a connection, I'd probably move a little bigger on the movement. But right now I've got an ideal connection for a very light, light lead. For the ladies on that last two beats, <coughs> You're moving your weight onto your, and I'm going to get into that position. Here's four, five, six. I'm on my left. Just stay on your left for seven, eight. Turn on your left foot, and you have your right foot free, ready to go forward. 
Now your turning on the right foot is due to the man, or the left foot is due to the man's connection. So when you're turned sideways, don't turn to face him until he actually moves. That will take care of the turning action for you. You can see my movement, just my weight changing from, I'm still on the right foot. Just weight changing through my right foot, pulled it right up onto her center. So you guys need to keep this connected all the way through. I'm going to leave a side pass next. So that first beat coming in is a perfect setup for it. That's one. Then on two, I'm going to prepare a turn. Then I'll do a triple step. Now I have to get to the other side of the track with this triple. So it'll be three and four. Once I get around the track, I'm going to bring my right shoulder around and my right leg around and cut it into my center like so. I'm loading up a power push. So at this point, I'm getting a connection to her. I keep the connection and drive sideways towards the lady. I want to stop the pattern about midway to it so there's a good connection for the stop. At this point, I'm going to drag my foot slowly, 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 and then I'm going to release all of the pull. Right now, there's still a pull in my hand, very light pull, keeping her from backing any further. And I'm going to release that pull. And as I release it, I'm going to do a quick ball change, dropping into my knees. And she's responding by doing the same action towards me. And we'll give you a couple of options for your feet in a moment, ladies. But for the guys, I'd like you to pull your left foot under you and cross your right foot over it so that the next step will be a natural step out with the left foot. Okay. I wanted to add for the ladies, uh, what told me to turn sideways was when he led me in that underarm turn, he overturned me. One, two, three, and see how he's overturning me? That tells me to continue through, turn sideways, and then I feel a light compression there. I press in and I push off so he doesn't have to push me. Now, be careful of this now. The overlead, I only use to get her in the right position. Once I have her in the right position, I need to be able to get myself turned without turning her, without doing anything to her. So you have to relax the lead for just a split second. So that'd be the one, two, the three, and four. I've done the overlead. The hand has come through the inside. Now, when I make this turn, I make sure that the arm doesn't move when I turn. The hand stays dead still. I turn towards the hand. So now the hand is closer to my right hip, and I compress into my left leg and slide over towards the leg. Now, if she doesn't do that with you, if she does a regular triple step here because her arm is loose, you can still slide over into position because your ball change is going to pull you right back out again, so you'll be okay. But it would look very good if you both could get that connection together. Then on the ball change, you can either make a hand change or maintain hold, but sometimes I like to quickly hand change and drop. Okay, so that gives me a nice big open line or the drop with just that hand and a little more torque in my body towards the partner. This is what adds the funk into the dancing. It's the body language, it's the pulsing, and it's the state of mind you're in when you're dancing it. So it's not about, oh, how can I be very clean in my lines? You're not, that's not funk. Funk is more loose, it's more relaxed, it's more street-like dancing. All right, so we started off with our clothes basic. It's a lot of material, so let's go through that for you. We have a turning basic to the left, just getting a little rotation. We rock back, roll opposite of each other to come out. Then we have our sugar push. One two, three, and four, hold five and six, hold seven and eight. Then we have our tuck, catch the hand, two, power tuck, turn her, sweep it, cross it, relax, and wait for her. When she comes up on that eighth beat, lead your side pass. One, two, three, four, a five, six, seven, and eight. Keeping in mind that you need to pulse that by the eighth beat because she's not really on her right foot yet until one, which is the next beat, one, two, a three, and four, a five, and six. That's a, lot. That's a lot. There's a lot of stuff going on there. Okay, we're going to do that with music for you, just to give you a chance to see how it kind of flows and plays with the tune. Gotta wait it out. 